So today we're going to be taking on Magnus Carlsen at the age of 10. This time around we actually have black pieces, which is nice, because the first time we played him I had white. So hopefully this will help uh, some of you beat him at this age with the black pieces. So we're going to go with the Yuko piano opening. Bishop c5, kind of mimicking his opening a bit. Now knight f6 and castling is standard. Um, d6, play d6. Uh, bishop b3. Okay, go knight a5 here. Uh, questioning is bishop. I'm just going to play bishop g4 first, make sure all my minor pieces are developed. Okay, so we'll just take and knight a5 now. You can't recapture with the queen if you wanted to. Let me take at least. But he doesn't. He goes for this instead. Uh, I'm tempted to take with my knight, but I could also go, I like c6 more because no matter what, I'm going to be able to get the bishop, no matter which square it decides to land on, it lands on b3, so we'll take, and now I can play, can I play d5 now, maybe I should wait, nah, we'll go d5 now. Why not? Okay. Um, I could take recapture maybe bishop uh, d bishop b seven, just so there's no doubled pawns. Um, does look a bit passive though playing the bishop back. Uh, I just don't know if t allowing him to double my pawns is a really good idea. But it does look really passive playing the bishop back to e7. So I'm going to go for this. Okay. It's here. Yeah, so I'm going to be taking on doubled pawns. Material is still equal. I'll always be able to get the open file. Since his knight isn't uh, developed yet. Okay. You could take and play... Maybe bishop to b6. Still doesn't look all that great for me right now. Well, let's see. And I, I can't, you know, try to threaten his bit, his uh, his knight with my rook here, because then he just takes on a2 after it's all said and done. Um. Now I am going to have tumbled. Two sets of doubled pawns, um, which really doesn't look good at all. Okay, he's. I mean, I don't really have much of a choice but to allow him to double here. I'm gonna bring my king out while I have a slight opportunity. He goes b5. Um, doesn't look all that accurate, but I mean, my position just really doesn't look good at all. See, so we're gonna have uh, triple pawns here. That looks pretty pitiful. Um, I I can play this for now. I just don't know if I can hold on to all three of those pawns. That's the real question here. Um, uh, I guess keep bringing the king up. Okay, he retreats actually. So maybe I should transfer my king to the queen side, see what we can do. Okay, he goes uh, rook, rook a8. I don't want to allow him to get in to this pawn here, but he actually may be able to against my will. Uh, maybe my best bet is just to play... To allow him to take, I mean, just play king up to c5. Yeah, I'm not really sure. I probably should have took note that my uh, h-pawn is just completely stranded out there. But I don't really see much better than to try to push it. Go for it. Okay, he delivers a check. And I can discover check him here. But... 
discovered aware is the question. I don't really see any good landing squares. Let's go king here. See what he does. Okay. I'm really not sure what to play. Maybe I should have went uh king here. But go for this break. This he goes f four now. It's a bit tricky. Um, go play takes. Let's play takes. He captures. Okay. This captures with a rook. Um. Now maybe rook d2. I don't know if swapping rooks here would be winning for me, so I really don't know if I should go for that. Instead, maybe rook up to d2 looks a bit better. But maybe I am getting a draw, at least with the rook exchange. I, I just The problem is I can't create a pass pawn on the queen side because I actually have tripled pawns. Um... I'm worried about uh, rook uh, rook e5. That's really what's uh, what's bothering me. If I were to go for rook d2, but who cares? Go for it. Okay, he plays plays b3. Um, I could go rook g3 now. It really doesn't look bad at all. He offers the exchange, actually. Now would that be winning for me, though, is the question. I would get king position um, on him. I'd be on the fifth rank. He'd be on the third. So we got king position. Okay, he goes... I don't think that was a good idea at all, because... Um, I have simply a position on his king. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say he's in Zugzwang yet, but this is definitely winning. Excuse me, I don't know. It's pretty loud. I think we got the blunder going downstairs. But yeah, this doesn't look too good for Magnus. Uh, I'm thinking B5 right now. And if he takes Rush over. But I don't like that. I'm going to go for this. Okay. And it looks like I'm queening first. Yeah, or else he wouldn't have played queen there. Or he wouldn't have played king there if I wasn't. Okay. That's obviously losing. Now I'm going to be able to get king position and actually... Should be a very easy win here. I probably shouldn't have won at all. I probably should have completely lost after like 20 moves, but who cares? Um, we're getting a win. I just got to make sure I don't screw this up. Um, I don't know if I can run now. Mm, yeah, I can run now. We're getting out of there. We are getting out of there, and we are getting a win no matter what, simply because his king cannot stop two outside pass pawns, and yeah, I'm just going to be able to create a queen here. Hopefully he saves me time, keeps his uh, king, I was going to say keep his king on the uh, h file, but we got it there anyway. Now we're going to go in for the checkmate with the king and the queen. And yep, mate is going to be forced no matter where he goes. So he goes to h5, checkmate, g5 with my queen. So there you have it. I probably shouldn't have won that game at all, but he screwed up in the end game. 
hopefully this uh, game taught you a thing or two about king position. And yeah, overall, hopefully you learned something. Hopefully you enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.